Last night I glued my thumb and my forefinger together, but don't worry, I'll be okay. <laughs> right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. A lot of people are asking about different launches, different interfaces. If I just take a look on here right now, this is actually a Fire Stick Lite and it's going to work on any Amazon device. Nvidia Shields, the Chromecast, we're going to be able to add a totally different launcher to customise it the way you want it to look. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a different launcher, which launchers you can add, so which one you may prefer. And yeah, let's just make things a little bit different, right? So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so if I jump over to my Fire Stick Lite, you are going to see it's got the new Amazon interface. And a lot of people don't like it, but obviously this is going to work on any Amazon device. So your Fire Stick 4Ks, ones that don't have this update, this method will still work. And the reason I'm doing an updated video showing you how to add the different interfaces or the different launchers is because previously we had to add a lot of ADB commands, but now... It's very straightforward and very easy to do. So one thing that is a downfall is it doesn't actually show the logo on the Amazon home screen or on the Amazon apps. And if I open up this app here, and it's an app by Tech Doctor UK, and honestly, it's made things so much easier. And when it comes to your more technical things on devices, this channel is great for this sort of thing. And I'm going to show you how you can install everything in a moment. But first, I'm going to show you how it works. And if I go to disable the stock launcher, this is going to disable the Amazon launcher and then click on the home button. These are the launchers I've got installed already on my device. Once again, I will show you where you can install them from in a moment and it's a super easy process. So say I want to use TV launcher. So now this would be my new interface for my Fire Stick and then I can go to say favorites, add different apps to my favorites, go to application. And then say I want to add YouTube to that as well. Click on the back button. I like TV launcher because it's really like child friendly. So there's no going on the settings. There's no misclicking on different things. There's no ads or recommended suggested content. It's just simply there's your apps. Click on them and you can use them. You've got different categories which you can add and remove from this launcher as well. And where you see it says favourites, media, games and utilities, you can change the names of those categories, remove them, add different ones, very customisable. We can also go to the three line button at the top left hand corner, you can change the theme how it looks. I prefer the dark theme, but you can change it back to the stock light theme. If I go to settings, you've got the option to have like different animations and that. So a space animation. If I turn that off, if I click on the home button, oh no, sorry, click on the back button. You're going to see now we've got like a space animation. A lot of different things you can do and very customizable without that recommended pushed content. If I click on the home button again, I'll show you a quickly another launcher, Wolf Launcher, which Tech Doctor likes to use himself. If I click on that one, it's going to take me over. I have removed the widgets from the top, but once again, very simple. That's my background, so you can add your own custom images. I'll also show you where you can get that background from if you do like it, but, well, it's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> and another good thing with adding a custom launcher, so a different launcher from Amazon's own, is now you're going to see you've got that launcher manager there where it says settings, whereas in Amazon's launcher, it just comes up with a grey box with no logo. And when clicking the home button, it's always going to ask me which launcher I would like to use. But if you do click on always, and once I click always, that now means whenever I click on the home button, it's going to use this wolf launcher as the default launcher or whichever launcher that you choose. And also what I do want to show you inside wolf launcher as well is I've removed the widgets. So if I click the context button or the three line button on my fire stick remote, and go to launcher settings, you can actually add widget sections. So if I go to widgets, show the sections, you're going to see you've got three different boxes. I turned those off because I just wanted to see the applications. You can go to applications and you can change the size of the columns or the size of the boxes. You can change the orientation. You can go to manage sections, so your widgets and your applications. You can add sections. I nearly didn't get that out then. <laughs> I 
But once again, none of that recommended, suggested content that a lot of people don't want to see. And if you are wondering where you can get this background from, it's as simple as opening Downloader wherever you are, going to my website, letscrackon.org, the launcher section there, we can go down, you're going to see it says Free Tech Image. And once you download that, if we go to the launcher settings, and then we go to Wallpaper, you can activate application wallpaper and where it says select wallpaper, go to the internal storage. We use downloader to download the image. And then as you can see there, the free tech background is there. Click on that and ding dangly do. And one more thing as well, if you do click on the three line button on your remote, you're going to see you can do different things with the apps on the home screen as well. If we click on move, we can move applications around and you can also create folders. So if you want different folders for such as your live TV apps and then a folder for your movie apps, a folder for your different like utility apps, that can really clean up that home screen and make things much simpler as well. And then simply to revert back to the Amazon's launcher or to get into your Amazon settings, you go back into the launcher manager, which shows the settings on Wolf Launcher. You've got Manage Applications, My Fire TV, which are the Amazon settings, as you can see now when it brings it up. Or you can enable the stock launcher once again. And once you've done that, you're going to see when we go back, it reverts back to the original launcher. So now let's show you how you can install it, how you can do it yourself and where you can get everything from. So if you haven't already got downloaded, simply install that from the Amazon store. And one more thing you do want to make sure of as well is by going to My Fire TV. If you're on the previous Amazon Amazon launcher at the top you go across to settings down and across to my fire TV once you click on this go to developer options make sure your apps from unknown sources is turned on or install unknown apps is available for downloader and also you need to turn on ADB debugging so once you've done that we're going to open up downloader and then you're going to type in this website exact as I type it now and it's let's crack on dot org so once you've typed that website in exact as you can see it there, let's crack on .org, you're going to click on go, give it a couple of moments just to load up the website, and then you're going to see a three line button hamburger menu in the top left there. Once you click on this, you want to go down and click on downloads. If you do get an advert there, just click on the cross icon in the top right, and then now we're going to scroll down the page until we find launchers. So we'll keep going. And as you can see there, it says Android launchers. And now these are the different launchers you can add. So TV launcher is the one with the space animation that I showed you first. You've got the wolf launcher. So you can add whichever one you want. And if there are any launchers that you would like that you don't see on this list, do comment down below and let me know and I will get them added. And then the other thing you need to install is the app from Tech Doctor, like we said, Launcher Manager. And whichever device you are using, you want to install this Launcher Manager here. So Amazon devices is the one I need. So if I click on that, you're going to see it's going to start connecting and download and then just follow the install prompts. So once you've installed it, it's as simple as, like I said, you do get a grey icon because it's not recognising which logo to use inside the Amazon launcher. If this does bother you, what you can do is go to Settings, Applications, and down to Manage Installed Applications. And then obviously you'll be able to see all the different logos for the different apps inside here. So if I want to click on Launcher Manager, Launch Application, and then you're going to see it's this app here. And now to use the TV Launcher, Wolf Launcher, whichever launcher it is that you want to use, simply click Disable Stock Launcher. And when you click on this, it's going to ask you to allow ADB debugging. Make sure you do tick that box and click allow or always allow. If you don't get that prompt, go across the settings, disable ADB debugging, then turn it back on. Then go through the same process and you should get that prompt. So once we've disabled the stock launcher, I'm going to click on the home button. And then it's going to show me any launchers I've got installed on this device, which at the moment, like we said, we've got Wolf Launcher. TV launcher and there's also a Google TV launcher there as well but when I do click on that it doesn't seem to load for me if I give it one moment you're gonna see it's not actually doing anything at the moment is it it just seems to crash and it doesn't really work so if I click on the home button once again you're gonna see it gives me the option to choose a different launcher so now if I want to choose the wolf launcher 
So now I'm going to come up like that. But every time you click on the home button, it gives you the option of which one or which launcher you do want to use. So if you're comfortable using the Wolf launcher, we're going to click on always. And what this does then is when I click on an app, so if I delete that from before, and I click on the home button, it's going to take me back to that custom launcher. And then like we said, if you need to go back into the Amazon settings to change anything, you would see it say settings there. And this is the launcher manager app that we've just used to disable the stock launcher. When we click on this, where it says shortcuts, you've got your network manage installed, my fire TV. And once you click on these, it will take you into the Amazon settings. And then if you sat there thinking, well, I want to go back to the original launcher now, or if you're just using a different launcher until you get the Amazon update, and now you want to disable the custom launchers, simply go back into this application, enable the stock launcher, press the home button, and then you'll see you're back using the original Amazon launcher. Right, so that's it. But if you do have any issues whatsoever when trying to do this, just comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. But also the community we have, everybody seems to help each other as well. But you can see how much simpler it is now using that app from Tech Doctor and fair play to those guys for getting that made up. But what I will ask is do comment down below which launcher you prefer. Are you waiting for the new Amazon launcher which you can see behind me? Or are you wanting something a bit more customizable and a bit less flooded on the home screen where you just want to see your apps, especially if you've got kids and that as well. You don't want all this shit on the home screen. You just want the app there, don't you? Ready to click. I can't talk. And because I can't talk, I'm going to go now. Hopefully that helps at least two people because that makes the video worth making. So that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Tara Shields new <laughs> and how easy it actually it actually is. <laughs> and another thing and another and another I can't say that. If you're on the previous Amazon launcher, the settings What's that? And then you're gonna type and then you're gonna yeah. You would go back into that launcher manager, which is settings in wool there, buddy. <laughs> and there you see you're back using the original Amazon lot. I can't talk. And then one more thing as well. If you click on the tonk, tonk, tonk test, what's that? Right, so I do apologize if I went through there. I'd be having a vowed one, man. But do let me know and we'll get an update to be there. <laughs>